Welcome to day 22 of our 30-day prayer challenge. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the fifth and sixth chapters. Jesus said, Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works, and give glory to your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Next, Christ teaches on the law. His fifth teaching is on swearing falsely. He said, Again, you have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not swear falsely, but carry out the vows you have made to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. No, Let your word be yes, yes, or no, no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. After additional teachings, Christ concludes, saying, Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. St. Hilary of Poitiers was a 4th century bishop, doctor of the church, and defender of the church against heresy. Now a commentary on the Gospel of St. Matthew by St. Hilary. The law had prescribed a penalty for false swearing, so that the ritual of an oath might hold false testimony in check. But faith removes the need for using an oath. It establishes in truth the dealings of our life. Once the inclination to deceive has been checked, it enjoins simplicity in speaking and hearing. Therefore, those who are living in the simplicity of faith have no need for the ritual of an oath. With such people, what is always is, and what is not, is not. For this reason, their every word and deed are always truthful. Let us take a moment for silent reflection. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. For our bishops, Elizabeth and Layla, our pastors, Albert and Verena, for all servants of the church and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.